70 Sedai Alpha 28 made a lot of interesting changes to special ammo types, and in today's video I'll be going over those changes and letting you guys know if in my opinion they're worth using. If you enjoyed today's video, consider dropping a like, but let's just get straight into it. The special ammos used to be a bit of a mess in 7 Days to Die. They had inconsistent armour penetration values, and hollow point ammo was largely considered useless by a lot of the people who played at the time. Which brings me to the first change Alpha 20 brought. Hollow point ammo was removed and replaced with something called high power ammo. But what does high power ammo do? High power ammo does 10% more damage than regular ammo. But what's the cost? One more bullet tip to craft across the board. I personally don't think this is worthwhile at all, but if you have access to the recipe for high power ammos and have the extra lead, it won't hurt. Speaking of the recipes, those are unlocked by reading skill books. Magnum Enforcer 6 will give you 44 Magnum, Pistol Pete 5 will give you 9mm, and Sniper 7 will give you 762. Overall though, I wouldn't use this ammo unless I had a severe shortage of gunpowder. It's only 10% better than regular ammo, but it costs 100% more lead. And considering the changes to AP ammo, it's a lot less appealing now as well, which I should probably cover. Armor piercing 9mm, 44 Magnum, 762, shotgun slugs, steel bolts and arrows now all ignore 50% of armor across the board. Previously, this was all over the place, but now AP ammo is slightly more appealing as not only do you get that armor penetration and target penetration, you also get a flat 20% damage boost when using it. So even against unarmored opponents, AP ammo now does more damage. Also, they removed the extra durability drain of AP, so it's much less of a pain to use on automatic weapons like the M60 and the SMG now. I should clarify something I said earlier, which was target penetration. All AP ammos except arrows and bolts have target penetration. This means that the bullet will fly through one target for full damage and hit another target for full damage. This is where AP ammo shines, as if your enemies are lined up, AP ammo effectively allows you to do twice as much damage as regular ammo, just split across two targets. 9mm, 7.62 and 44 AP all have one target penetration, meaning they'll hit two enemies. AP shotgun slugs have two target penetration, meaning they'll pass through two enemies and hit another one, effectively tripling your damage potential. I should also mention the Penetrator perk. The Penetrator is a 4 rank perception perk requiring 8 perception to max out. At the final rank, you'll ignore 20% more armour with guns and archery, or you'll ignore 50% more armour with anything that already has armour penetration, which is armour piercing ammo and spears meaning Penetrator 4 and AP Ammo will allow you to ignore armor entirely. Also, you'll be able to penetrate 3 more targets with hunting rifles, lever actions and sniper rifles when using AP 762, meaning you can hit a total of 5 enemies in one shot with those guns and the ammo, effectively allowing you to clear the field 5 times faster with those guns. This is a great perk item combo for making snipers much more competitive on Horde Knight. Give it a try, it is a lot of fun. But what's the cost of AP Ammo? Well, across the board, again, it will cost you one extra bullet tip, and it will cost you a lot more gunpowder. Honestly, it's not that bad. To unlock the recipes for AP ammo, you'll need Pistol Pete 6, Magnum Enforcer 5, Shotgun Messiah 4, and Sniper 6, which will each unlock the corresponding ammo type in AP. So all in all, AP ammo is very much worth it if you can craft it, which is more than could have been said for AP ammo in Alpha 19, which was only really worth using if you used it for that Penetrator Sniper build or if you were playing PvP, because obviously almost all players are going to be using some amount of armor in PvP, and that is still the case. If you want to get all the gunpowder and lead you'll need for all these bullets you'll be crafting, you'll need to be a pretty efficient miner. Question is, are you an efficient miner if you want to find out click this video thank you to my channel members for making these videos possible thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video